Thank you, Lindsay, and good morning. I first came to SOCAP uh, three years ago, um, intrigued by all the energy around impact investing, and wanted to see how sustainable public market investments fit in and become a part of that conversation. And it's been great to see how SOCAP has helped that conversation evolve, and I'd like to continue it here this morning at the plenary, and also where there's a panel at 11 that's going to deal a little bit more about how public markets integrate into impact investor portfolios. I have the privilege this morning of representing Pax World Investments, who's been a leader in sustainable investing dating back to 1971 when we launched the first socially responsible mutual fund. I'd like to share a little bit of our perspectives on the evolution of sustainable in in investing and the increased linkage across its evolution to impact and how we very much believe that public and private market investments can be integrated in a holistic, impactful way. Our CEO, Joe Keefe, has suggested three stages to the evolution of sustainable investing. The first stage was, was socially responsible investing, where the focus was on exclusion of companies, usually based on specific issues. But there was also the early stages of share owner engagement, an ability to have impact by talking to companies and helping them change behaviors. And I don't think anyone would deny one of the biggest and most impactful uh, uh, events that sustainable investing has had is the engagement and the subsequent divestment of companies doing business in South Africa that led and was a contributor to bringing down apartheid in that country. This first stage continued what we would see it into the first stage of the 21st century where we began to evolve into sustainable investing, where the emphasis was no longer on exclusion but on inclusion, including companies in a portfolio based on their environmental social and governance profiles, looking at the risks and the opportunities in these variables and integrating it with traditional financial analysis to make better investment decisions. At this stage, there was a lot of support from um, studies and research that showed, in fact, ESG factors could have financial materiality. Institutional investors began to take notice and began to embrace sustainable investing as an investment, decision, uh, investment discipline rather than just a values choice. And traditional money managers have begun to take notice. Nevertheless, today we see sustainable investors want more. OK, my portfolio is invested in companies with good ESG profiles. But how can I make sure I'm invested in companies that are making a positive impact? We're moving here beyond the exclusion of SRI and beyond the mere integration of ESG in sustainable investing to look at demonstrable impact. And that takes us to the phase that we're in now, the impact phase, that many in this room have been leaders in bringing to the fore. It clearly builds on the first two phases, but brings additional clarity around two objectives, delivering competitive returns while also having significant social and environmental impacts. In many ways, I see impact investing as bringing, bringing clarity among a lot of the acronyms and abbreviations that sustainable investing has used and has caused frankly, some confusion. It's brought impact, the term, and the objective of four through its role in taking, looking at innovative vehicles to channel capital with precision to entrepreneurs and projects that might otherwise have fallen through the cracks. In doing so, they've delivered returns and had significant and measurable impact. And in doing this, I think they've put forth with clarity the asp aspirational goal for all of us, having impact at scale. But to do that, I believe, we must continue to all come together, no matter how we choose our affiliations, whether we call ourselves socially responsible investors, sustainable investors, impact investors, or mainstream investors. We need to look at portfolios comprehensively for return and impact across asset classes and investment styles, looking at private market investments that are providing essential capital with focused impact looking at sustainably publicly traded investments for companies with better ESG profiles and some of these companies that are providing impact at scale and engaging with other companies to have an impact and make them better corporate citizens. And as we succeed in delivering returns with impact, we will all achieve what I believe is a uniting and overarching goal, is attracting more and more capital to building a just and sustainable world. Thank you.